all the questions that the fans have been asking for many of years now is now finally going to be answered. And then the one little outburst that obviously has been talked about through Equestria Daily, but has also been spread through all news sources, including locals. I mean, I know for a fact that my uh, one of my news stations picked up on this and shared the article around. But even with the little spark of interest in fans and news talking about this, let us see what the episode is like. So that was an interesting trip. Obviously we get the whole entirety of the question that the fans have been asking since the show, which is, what is Scootaloo's parents? Like, what are, like, who are they? What do they look like? That question gets answered. And it was weird that at first, before, like, the actual episode started, because we got the pre-show, then the theme song, and then the actual episode beginning, is I thought during the pre-show, those were Scootaloo's parents, which, man, they're really dropping the ball on this. But, no, <laughs> it turns out that her parents are adventurers, much like Indiana Jones. And... Even at one point, her father basically gives her, gives her the hat that he wore during his adventures. It's almost reminiscent of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which, spoilers if you haven't played the game, in one of the scenes before the epilogue, John Marston is given Arthur Morgan's hat, as he helps him leave from the all-out chaos that is going on between the downfall of Dutch Vandalin and the Marshals. So, love that. Very nice touch. And it's pretty nice that we get a good story about how sometimes, like, parents could spring on, like, a move that is too rapid and too quick for any child, and they go into this, like, instant where they don't want to move, and I thought there's, I think that's, like, a really good touch, a really good story. It is nice how they pull it off. And that's all that can really be said about it, is very nice. Where, where am I with this episode? Well, I like it. Thumbs up. I guess with all of that said, yeah, if I rewatch this, like, once the show ends, this is definitely going there. Nice further character development, good story, a good moral, and in general, for this initial opinion, absolutely love the development, and we finally get to see Scootaloo's parents. It did fool me into thinking the two aunts were Scootaloo's parents, but very good trickery on DHX and Hansbro's part. Very good trickery. But with that said, um, see you next week for, sadly, the mid-season finale. Before the episode began, I'll look ahead at the time at the guide to make sure that there is an episode in the other week. But sadly, this is going to be a season... Another mid-season hiatus, like we always expect from Discovery Family. <sighs> Can we at 
at least get like... Well, it's too late to ask that question to Discovery Family, but can we at least get one season, one season where it actually runs the entirety of the show? As I've explained in the 2018 vlogs, and you probably haven't seen that, but in that I talk about how the hub used to play all the episodes in one big go. Like, they would drop the whole season, no stops, or anything like that, except maybe for a big special or two. But that didn't stop. That didn't stop the entirety of the show. And yet now, with Discovery Family, I guess it's common routine now. Which sucks. But, what can we do? Well, at least the big thing is we avoided, at least I avoided, the early airings internationally, because I don't want to watch these episodes very early. I want to be able to watch them as they air here. Though it does give me good fuel to read Silver Quills, like Reincarnation, of an old comic book of an old comic series that used to happen way back when called uh, Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight. At least those comics are really fun to read the night before a new episode. Always like that. But really see you next week for the mid season finale and this is going to be... <sighs> yeah. I predict I'll see you guys in a month or two for the other half of Season 9. And in that process, I'll work on the con vlogs, but also the top 40 favorite movies. Progress has been slow on that production, but... I think that's mostly because of the of how the job is going and just what progress is being made of it. But I have to focus on the job and this is mostly just a side hobby and everything. But honestly with that said, see you guys next week for the mid-season finale and that's really all that can be said, so... <sighs> yeah, it's just, I'm basically tired. That it's gonna suck once the show ends, but what can we do? So, yeah, see you guys next week for... The first half of Season 9.